Speaking of products that we didn't know we needed until we had them, Ari writes in and says, I know you stay pretty up to date on the automatic slash robot vacuums. Which one is your current favorite? Okay. Uh, I have a, a couple of favorites here. So I've tested the Yuffies from Anchor, the Neato, and the Roborock. I've tested some others too, but those those are kind of the ones... Uh, currently, my my favorites are the the Roborock and the Neato. I, they just seem to do. I haven't tested the very latest from Eufy, so may, it, like bear that in mind. And I probably will, and and then maybe I'll I'll add that in back to the favorites list here. But you know the the Roborock, the Roborock is if if I had to then pick between the Roborock and the Neato, I'd probably lean for the Roborock. But I, like they they're both yeah. really really close. Um. Right now, I'm running the Roborock Q5, and I think it's the Q5 Plus because it has the auto emptier thing, which I'll talk about. Yeah, that's and then cool. the Neato D10, which does not have the auto emptier. And um, I I wouldn't say you need the auto empty functionality. I I believe that was created for people who said, "Well, what's the if what's the use of having a robot vacuum if I have to empty it all the time?" Well, the reality is. You, we run ours every day. Uh, it runs in the middle of the night, except for the one in our bedrooms, which runs while we're having dinner uh, on a different floor of the house. But, you know, we run them every day. And I find that if I empty it once a week, that's fine. It's, you know, it, it packs the stuff into its little c container. And so that's totally fine. And at least once a week, the vacuum is going to pick up something like a cat toy or a pipe cleaner, which in our house are also cat toys. Uh, and you need to mess with it or it gets stuck in a corner that it, it shouldn't get stuck in or, you know, whatever. And so you got to pick and it up and put they it. grab shoelaces like they're stone tomorrow. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> right. You know, it, or backpack, um, like the yeah. straps from a backpack or whatever, yeah. like those kinds of things. And it's no big deal, uh, but you pick it up and you're going to put it back on its base. And while I'm doing that, even the one that empties itself, I will empty the the sure. container because why do I want the other thing to fill up any faster than it needs to? I've got the stupid vacuum in my hand and it's really not that stupid. It's quite smart, yeah. but I've got it in my hand. I dump it out. And I also take that moment usually a couple times a month to take either there. They, they all come with these like specially formed, like little knives that, to cut all the hair that's going to wrap right. around the roller. So I'll be like, Oh, there's a ton of hair, pet, pet hair or human hair, whatever it is, you know, on the roller. I'll clean that off while I'm at it, you, you know, and then I put it back on its base. It charges and it's good to go for the next, the, the next round. But the, the feature that really is the game changer. And I've had vacuums before and after this is LIDAR navigation. This is, I will not use a robot vacuum without LIDAR navigation. Now it changes everything about how these things can work and navigate your home and not run into stupid things. But like, Dave, that's creating a map of your home and sending it to China. It sure is. Yep. And if the Chinese uh, <laughs> want a bad, map of your home, <laughs> if, if some it. bad actor in China <laughs> wants to bother to get on a plane or even just ship the map of my home to someone here in the United States, you can get a map of my home by going to my town's website for free. <laughs> <laughs> like the floor plan Wait, is what? right there. <laughs> yep. So it really yeah. isn't a problem. Yeah. And it, 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 I love it. Like it, but it, the LIDAR mapping is so much more than just having the map of your home. But that in and of itself is fantastic because you can say, oh, clean this room. Don't clean this room. Uh, right. uh, like on the spot. You can put, yeah, you can put up uh, invisible walls. Correct. No but go it, zones. It Yeah, you could, the no go zones, but it also is seeing things. And so like all those stories and somebody's putting something in the discord about, you know, like a vacuum with dog poop, you know, driving it around the house or whatever. That yeah. that happens far, far, far less often with these LIDAR scanners because they put pattern recognition into them. And so they notice, oh, don't go there, you know. Well, so. I have a story about that. Oh, is it with and a LIDAR those vacuum? watching on video, me uh -huh. see over my left shoulder, yep. my, my little girl who's little, 50 pounds, sure, who's sure. going to be 15 next month. And, and last month, she got left alone for many hours while we went to a funeral and uh, came home to, uh, yeah, it, 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 the Robo Rock. I think it's the six or the seven. Okay. It has LIDAR, and uh, it apparently it, 
didn't recognize. It didn't. So, oh, that no. sucks. Now, the good news is, is we had taken up all the carpets. We are down to the bare wood floors. Mm. And so much easier to clean up. That's and way much easier, easier to clean. clean the vacuum. Sure, sure. But uh, boy, was that frustrating to see. Oh, like, oh sucks. man, I thought it was supposed to avoid that. Oh. I did too. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. But so, yeah, I, but, these are, these are game changing things. I, I have not yet tried a robot vacuum with mopping capabilities, right? Like I think the eight plus has that and I've got one. I'm going to break it out of the box and, okay. and uh, I'll, I'll be ready to jump in on the next. Okay, great. Yeah. Cause I, I, I'd be curious to see, you know, for like a kitchen area, obviously that, that could also be kind of a game changer. So, um, yeah, but, but I, you know, I, there are lots of good ones out there. We've mentioned three brands. My guess is that the Eufy's with the LiDAR and all of that stuff are equally as good as the others. I just haven't had an opportunity to yeah. test those yet, but, um, and if you've got pet but, hair yeah. in your house, man, oh. it's so much, so much easier to stay in front of it when it's done every day. Yep. You know, you just aren't going to break out the vacuum cleaner every day and do the entire house. No way. And, no way. And, and it's, it's doesn't... really nice. If you're going to have people over or whatever, we can say, all right, you know, we just tell it, you know, from our watch or our phone, go vacuum the living room quick. And in 20 minutes it's done, but you like, your involvement in that was to tell it, go vacuum the living room quick. And then it just goes and does its thing. It's really nice waking up every morning to a, a freshly vacuumed house.